Sally Lowenthal, better known to the world as Sally Jesse Raphael, made a name for herself as the host of her sensational talk show Sally that ran for nearly 20 years from 1983 to 2002. Now at 87 years old, Sally's ready to part with her sprawling countryside estate in Pauling, New York, that she has called home for the past 25 years. The 25.5 acre property known as Elmwood Farm contains a palatial 15,000 square foot Elizabethan Tudor style manor with 43 rooms and is listed for $6.5 million. The manor house itself is an impressive structure dating back to 1860. Situated at the end of a long tree-lined driveway, the three-story home evokes the feeling of stepping back in time with its stone turrets, gothic spires, and Victorian architectural details. This is really my type of place. The exterior features steeply pitched gables trimmed in ornate carved wood boards. Inside, no expense was spared with the home's original craftsmanship and lavish finishes. Intricate harlequin leaded and stained glass windows allow colorful light to filter in. Stunning hand-carved woodwork covers door frames and mantles, and there are even plaster ceilings painted with ornamental designs. Upon entering the grand foyer, your eyes are immediately drawn up the oak staircase, highlighted by posts crowned with hand-carved animal figurines. Portraits of Sally Jesse Raphael and her late husband Carl Soderlund, who she was married to for 57 years until his passing in 2020, face each other on opposing walls. The formal dining room dazzles with its red painted ceiling and sparkling chandelier. Not to mention there are 10 fireplaces distributed through the mansion's 43 rooms. With its original layout, the sprawling manor provides space for both intimate gatherings and grand scale entertaining. There are multiple living areas and sitting rooms to relax in. Also found in the living room are fine antiques, stacks of books, and plush furniture. This solarium is designed to be flooded with natural light through its arched floor-to-ceiling windows. The estate even offers a chapel for quiet reflection. For overnight guests, there is no shortage of bedrooms. In total, there are 17 bedrooms, each large enough to accommodate sitting areas. Every bedroom has been individually decorated with unique color palettes and themes. On the second floor, an entire wing features hand-painted storybook murals on the walls for whimsical touch. The attached bathrooms are spacious as well, with a total of nine full baths and four half baths. The huge Eden kitchen includes marble countertops and a professional-grade stove perfect for preparing meals for a crowd. Just off the kitchen is an intimate den with a fireplace for casual gatherings. The back of the house provides access to a stone patio, and there's also a swimming pool and tennis court beside the carriage house. Beyond the main house, there are some other buildings that complete the country estate, where two caretakers' cottages give house staff or guests their own private quarters. The carriage house offers a chauffeur's apartment above the garage. Inside the stable building is space for up to 12 horses with a central courtyard and riding ring. Sally primarily used the property as a weekend getaway from New York City where she still owns an Upper East Side townhouse valued around $10 million. But Elmwood Farm's vast acreage and equestrian facilities also allowed her to pursue her passion for horses. Raphael reportedly spent over $1 million improving the grounds and last had the home appraised in 2018 at nearly $8 million. Elmwood Farm originally belonged to the Kane family dating back to the early 18th century. Raphael and her husband purchased the estate in 97 for $1.7 million after it had been in the same family for over 200 years. As a historic property in Pauling, the home is subject to an architectural review before any significant exterior changes take place. Sally first renovated the home in the 1990s, modernizing the interior while still retaining the 19th century charm. Her touches can still be seen in the eclectic mix of antiques, colorful art, and family photos on display. Nonetheless, the mansion itself has been meticulously maintained 
despite its age. For the right buyer looking for a fully equipped country estate dripping with history and character, Elmwood Farm checks all the boxes. While the Polly Mansion offers privacy and seclusion today, Sally Jesse Raphael is no stranger to the spotlight. She first rose to fame as the host of her tabloid talk show, Sally Jesse Raphael, also known as Sally, which ran for nearly 20 years from 1983 to 2002. At the peak of her popularity in the 90s, Raphael was a household name with over 5 million daily viewers. She became infamous for her oversized red glasses frames and audacious on her persona. Sally actually began her career in broadcasting behind the scenes as a writer and producer. She transitioned in front of the camera working at a Puerto Rican TV station, where she honed her interviewing skills. This led to local TV jobs back on the mainland in Miami and New York. However, Sally didn't find her big break until she moved to St. Louis in 1983. The same year, Sally launched a locally produced talk show on ABC affiliate KDNL TV titled The Sally Jesse Raphael Show. The program aired for half an hour on weekday mornings and focused on lighthearted and provocative topics. In 1985, the show was retitled Sally when production moved to New York Studios full time. As the program's viewership grew, Raphael's signature style solidified, asking frank and controversial questions while sporting her signature red glasses. She wasn't afraid to call out guests endearing her to viewers who saw her as fearlessly saying what was on their minds. Producers intentionally selected wild, unpredictable guests to drive ratings. By 1987, Sally had entered into national broadcast syndication, airing late nights and weekday mornings across the country. Raphael won a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Talk Show Host in 1999, the peak of her fame. After nearly 20 successful years, she went off air in 2002. At the height of her show's popularity in the 1990s, Sally commanded multi-million dollar contracts. She signed a record-breaking five-year, $25 million deal with Multimedia Entertainment in 1993, worth nearly $45 million, which confirmed her status as one of the highest-paid women on TV. Raphael then proudly built her career while being a mother and wife, pioneering the radio-style podcasts that have become popular today. Now for a fun fact. What made Sally Jesse Raphael get her iconic red glasses? It all started when she found out they came as a complimentary perk when she got a pap smear and an eye test, making them an irresistible choice due to the high cost of glasses. In an interview, Sally shared glasses were expensive, everyone knows that. They're offering me a pap smear and an eye test and red glasses, and I said I'll take the red glasses. Fortunately, this choice became an iconic trademark for her. At 88 years old, Sally's ready to fully retire and sell the mansion she's cherished for over two decades. While she might be leaving Elmwood Farm behind, Raphael's legacy lives on. That's gonna wrap up today's video, but before we go, answer this question for me. What unique feature of the classic and stunning Elmwood Farm was your favorite and why? Was it the stained glass windows, the fireplaces, the equestrian facilities? Let me know in the comments down below. I honestly loved everything about that place, especially those turrets. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!